This is a tennis ball with a half inch hole going through out the other side. And it's, uh, I've inserted a tube of masking tape. So let's see if it whistles. All right, so we got a uh, quarter inch diameter hole, quarter inch deep, quarter inch diameter, half inch deep, quarter inch, one inch deep. And then we're going on to three sixteenths, quarter inch deep. This is what uh, Roman projectiles were. They had, at least they had holes about that size. And then three sixteenths, and this is an inch and five sixteenths deep. So this goes about with the formula by Hondero. And I'll throw them in that order. In this round, let's compare the quarter inch quarter inch to its counterpart, the three sixteenths quarter inch. So we'll do the two, the two that have the quarter inch depth, and we'll compare the different size of hole. And then we'll do the quarter inch one inch and compare it to the three sixteenths that's also somewhat deep. So we'll go from left to right there. This one, I want to compare the uh, quarter inch holes and we're going to go down the depths and then start adding more holes. So we'll start with the quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, half inch, quarter inch, one inch. Woohoo, that's a good one. Then we'll go up to the quarter inch with six holes. Uh, I would say they're I didn't really measure these holes. They vary from about a quarter inch to a half inch, I would say. This one has 14 holes, similar kind of variation. And this one's interesting. Uh, initially, he had one all the way through. Uh, it's in here somewhere. There it is. And uh, then I just added a bunch of quarter inch ones. And then I drilled a couple of the quarter inch ones pretty deep. Some of them actually intersect the one all the way through. So we'll go from left to right. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Let's see if my phone overheats this time. 3 sixteenths, quarter inch, all the way through. Uh, quarter inch, bunch of holes. 3 eighths all the way through. 3 eighths, bunch of holes. Mix of everything, half inch. We're gonna go down, left to right.
All right, let's try that again. Let's do a direct comparison of some here. I'm going to directly compare the 3 16 to the quarter inch, both quarter inch deep. And then I want to directly compare the quarter inch 1 inch, which makes a lot of sound. And I want to compare that to the one with 14 quarter inch holes. Okay, first round we're going to do the tennis balls. I taped washers onto each hole. I uh, couldn't get the glue to work, so I had to tape it. We'll see if that helps. I'm uh, not sure. We're going to go small all the way through, slightly larger all the way through, huge, just one hole. So. All right, I'm giving up on tennis balls. We're moving on to the golf balls again. This whole row is quarter inch holes diameter. We're gonna start with quarter inch deep and gradually go one quarter inch deeper in each hole. This one, I've done an inch and three eighths because that's pretty much as far as I can go without punching through to the other side. This one, I tried to do an inch and a half and I punched out the other side. So we're gonna go shallow all the way down to all the way through.
Okay, now let's compare the quarter inch, one inch deep with the five sixteenths, one inch deep. This is a step between quarter inch and three eighths. Uh, see how it sounds. So, I'm beginning to wonder why this particular ball is performing so well. Uh, if it'll focus here. This is the quarter inch, one inch. It just does so well, and I wonder if it has something to do with the entrance to this hole. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bit of a lip that's popped up and out. Uh, it's a really crisp hole. There's almost a bit of a burr there. And I wonder if that's helping with the sound. But I'm not sure. So I might try kind of bluntening that with a knife. And then we'll do the next round. Alright, I want to do one more round. Uh, I didn't get to these last time. So we're going to do the quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, half, just as sort of a comparison of single holes versus six and fourteen, because these vary between a quarter and a half, I would say. Um, this guy's the one inch, and then this is the Hondero mistake. He's got, what, six holes in him? One of them is a double, and then a bunch of them ended up intersecting. So we're going to try to throw six balls in this order.